Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to The Lead. I'm Jake Tapper. We begin with the politics lead today. President Trump seemingly passing out pardons to heroes of the far right almost as eagerly as Oprah once gifted Pontiacs to suburban moms. Today, the president gave a full pardon to author, filmmaker, and conspiracy theorist Dinesh D'Souza, convicted of federal campaign cash crimes. And just a few hours later, President Trump told reporters that he's considering commuting the sentence of corrupt former Democratic governor of Illinois, Rod Blagojevich, and pardoning businesswoman and best-selling author Martha Stewart. I now pronounce the judgment of conviction against Rod R. Blagojevich. A dramatic chapter in Illinois politics comes to an end. Rod Blagojevich has been ousted as the state's governor. Wrapping up a four-day trial, the state Senate convicted Blagojevich Thursday without a single lawmaker coming to his defense. He's also been barred from ever holding public office in the state again. The defiant Democrat is accused of trying to sell President Barack Obama's vacated U.S. Senate seat. Federal prosecutors have also said that he demanded campaign contributions in exchange for signing legislation. And you are a very successful businesswoman. You're also an active Republican. Uh, weigh in, if you will. Do you like any of the Republican presidential hopefuls that we've seen this go round? Oh, where did you get that? I, I have, I have, I have always been a registered Democrat. Oh, so I, I have been misinformed. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I assume that oh, you're a big Obama gosh. fan. I always try to, I always try to vote for the very, very smartest, best candidate for an office. So I'm not party centric, but, but uh, I must say that I certainly hope that a, a uh, some some really good candidates emerge. Well, this is the most important election of the last hundred years. Uh, we have to be very certain that we elect a person who has experience, knowledge, uh, a base of, uh, of education uh, in the world of uh, world politics as well as domestic politics. And uh, so obviously I'm voting for Hillary Clinton. And, uh, and we just can't have a... a we just can't have a country run by someone who is totally unprepared for what comes. There is so much to know and so much to learn and so much diplomacy and kindness and, uh, and introspection that goes with that kind of, of um, you know, job. And it does not exist in the world of Donald Trump. President Trump seemingly passing out pardons to heroes of the far right.